In 2016, our report showed that if we continue with business as usual, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean by 2050. This new Breaking the Plastic Wave study shows that even if we do everything we physically can, every technology deployed that we understand today, we can only reduce the flow of plastic packaging into the ocean by 80% by 2040. That's the next 20 years. But we need to do more. Millions of dollars are being spent on cleaning up beaches, rivers, streets, recycling. But it's not enough. Because all that will be in vain if we continue to pour plastic packaging which has no value into the economy. We need to tackle this flood at source. We need to go to the beginning of the system so every piece of plastic that is manufactured has a value. We need to eliminate all the plastic we don't need. We need to innovate for the plastic we do, making sure it is reusable, recyclable and compostable. And importantly, we need to circulate everything we produce, be that plastic or a biological component which replaces it. That's what sits behind the global commitment. This is the vision of the new Plastics Economy Global Commitment and this is the vision that over 450 organisations, including some of the biggest companies in the world, countries, regions have signed up to. We've already seen significant action and these include reducing the amount of virgin plastics which enter the global economy, radical innovation in the way businesses operate and provide solutions to their customers and billions of dollars that have been committed to increase the use of recycled plastic around the world, keeping it in the economy and out of the ocean. But we need to raise our level of ambition and match it with bold and urgent action to accelerate the transition to a circular economy for plastics.